Hello everyone, my name is Joshua, and I'll be solving the leak code problem all along the strings, which is in code signal, and in the arcade section. Now, I've done this problem before, but long, long time ago, so I deleted the answers that I put before, and I'll be solving it in real time. What the heck? I thought I reset it to... Uh... Alright, let's hope I... For... I didn't see that. No one saw that. No one saw that. Okay. Oh, this is, is lucky. Shoot. No wonder. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm not clicking the right stuff. Okay, I did reset it. That's good. That's good news. All right, so we're given an array of strings, and you want to return another array containing its longest strings. Hmm. How can I do that? Thinking about this. Think hard. Think hard with my brain. I'm mean, looking at the example. Since that ABA and VCD and ABA are the longest numbers, I mean, because they have three letters, and it's more than all the word, all the letters in the other words, we output it. So I'm thinking, how can we? Huh. I already have an idea what we can do, but it's going to be space expensive. I want to create a hash map. Wait, oh, I can't assume that. Oh, that won't work then because there might be repeated words. I was thinking to use a hash map, but the length uh, as the value and the strings as the key, but that won't work because there are some repeated values. I suppose I could iterate through it once to get the maximum value, and once I, I, could iter once I have that, I can iterate it again this time to input these array values into an array. So let's just do it that way. Zero, four. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I could just call this max, and it, it'll be integer dot min. Oh, actually, hold for a second. What's the constraints? The array could be a length of one. Well, if it's a length of one, you definitely just want to return that one array. I'm going to include that base case right there. Length equals equals one. Just return that array. We don't need you. Anyways, let's think about the other cases. The length of each word can be at least one. All right. Now let's try it this way. If this, if that, continuing its longest strings. All right. So I want to create a max variable, and if. If the max is equal, the max is less than, oh, I forgot to start iterating through the strings. So I'll go through each string of the input array. Ah, but I want to probably do that via indexing. Into string equals zero. String is less than input array dot length. String is string plus plus. That's how we iterate through it. And let's see here. If the max is less than, oh, and I put in a counter of how many of how many words have that same length. So if max is equal equals to the input array, if through that word at that input array position, counter plus plus. Now else. If the max is less than the input array strings, and by the way, you want to get its length as written like that. We kind of want to do it this way. We want to increment the counter plus plus, but oh, forgot the semicolon. But we want to reset. Actually, we want to reset the counter to equal one, and we want to set the max into a new max, which is the length of this array. To make this much more nicer to see, I can say int word size, and then you can just visually see that instead of me just typing this whole jargon. Uh -huh. There you go. That makes it so much more nicer to see, doesn't it, guys? 
All right, and after that, let's we get that word size counter. What we can do next is iterate through it one more time. But oh, first we want to create that array of strings where we can uh, insert equals new string, and it's going to be the size of the number of occurrences from that array. And we're going to iterate through it one more time. One more time. And this time, we're going to use that max again. String, OK, we don't need this one. But we're going to iterate through each word. And this time, if the max is equals equals, to the word size of that string. Well, instead of just incrementing it, we're going to add it. Oh, we need an index to help us place um, place it into the new string array. Did I delete that string array? Oh, I'm disappointed in me. That's OK. All right. Alrighty. And we want to return the answer. And instead of incrementing it, we want to put it in we want to increment index because we're going to place inside the answer the word. The word of the Lord. String. All right, that ought to do it. So just to go over what I did, well, let's see if it runs first before I get too hasty. It passed. So here's what I'm doing. I go through it once to get the maximum number of letters, and I get the word size. And then um, once it has a matching word size with the maximum, I increment how many words of that same size are in that array, and then with that word size target, word size target, I use it to find whether, if I reiterate through it one more time, how many of the words have that same length. And then if it has the same length, I want to increment it into my new um, string array um, to return as the answer of all the strings. So it's going to be about, this is O of n at worst case scenario. This is going through each. Yep, it's about O of n, just to return this answer, and it's about O of n to go through each word twice. It's O2 of n, but really it's generalized to O of n. I think there's a better way to solve this, but this is doing it through brute force quickly, and I think this might be the optimal solution. Let me click Submit, actually. That's great. Solved it, solved it, solved it, solved it. Hope you guys love this question. I mean, like the video. If you can find a better solution, post it in the comments below and I'll pin it to the top like a pinata. You have a great day, guys. Toodles.